Hello and welcome to the Portant Cast. My name is Lila. I am your dungeon keeper and host. The Portant Cast is a queer and female uh, and non-binary actual play show. We'll be playing TTRPGs of all sorts and you are tuning into episode 21 of A Perilous Voyage. You can keep updated with everything we do with the podcast and anything TTRPGs by following us over on Twitter and you can watch episode clips over on our TikTok. Uh, and if you want to keep updated with episodes, go ahead and hit that subscription button below. But without further ado, let's introduce our cast. Hello, my name is Kristen. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kristen, and I play Vernon. Hi, I'm Star, and I play Mariana. Hi, I'm Carolee, and I play Talara. Hello, I'm Ezra, and I play Ether. Hi, I'm Helen, and I play Narissa. Hi, I'm Lindsay, and I play Serafina. And without further ado, let's set sail on this week's episode of A Perilous Voyage. The crew of the Golden Rose has just completed their most recent trial in finding the clues to the lost treasure hoard they've been after for nearly eight months. They fought against their mind, body, and spirits in the Trial of Reverie, a princess of the Hells who domains over the nightmares and misfortune to all that cross her path. The next clue awaited them in the champion's room, having to fight a corrupted flying serpent that tortured their minds before the officers of the ship defeated it and awaited a final trial of endurance in order to to get to their prize and they did with the help of the dispel magic spell uh ether and seraphina were able to get to the get to the next clue and return to their body safely after a brief discussion you'd concluded that seraphina had the next clue from her travels with the vixen and that your next stop was osteo bay but with but with that the ship is still stranded on the island within the chimera broom we and we pick up just after Mariana has had a moment by herself on the back of the ship and a memory she did not recall flashing in her mind. I said, um... <laughs> Mariana just looks over the side of the ship because I said, um... I, I think Mariana, if we're still uh, there, has it like single tear fall down. I just goes back to her, uh, her office. Well, how, what time of day is it? Are we moving yet? No, you're stranded on the beach right now. Right. I'm gonna go for a swim. Okay. You go for a swim. You guys just see the aerial net thing in the middle of the water, but it's horribly done, and it just, like, hits back in her face with a bunch of seaweed, and she's just like, I'm glad no one saw that, and then continues going. Uh, she just feels really at home in the water, so... Just swimming around, kind of just floating and staring at the sky. Alright. What is everybody else doing? 
I mean, if Narissa sees that Mariana's going for a swim, she's joining. <laughs> okay. So you're all going she... for a swim, I now assume. It, it's been so long. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> since, since Narissa's been for a swim? Yeah. Y'all were just we're swimming gonna... in zombies. I don't... That, mm, oh. No. <laughs> oh, that smelled a little bad, though. <laughs> okay. That wasn't the kind of salt I wanted to that smell. That was good. Um... So Lara has retreated, because I'm assuming this this is like immediately after coming back. So Talara has retreated back to her room. She she is just kind of a, a bit be, being recluse, I guess is the word, just on her own. Okay. Um, I feel like sorry. either would go oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, fine, go ahead. So, um, I was going to say that either is probably going to go and check on Polara. Okay. So shortly after you go towards your room, Talara, and you're kind of just, like, secluding yourself, you hear a knock on the door. Right as I had taken a big old bite of lasagna. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, I think she's just chilling, like, just probably just reading something she's probably read a hundred times. Um, uh, and she's, oh, uh, who is it? Ethan. Oh, okay, well, come on in, I guess. Uh, Ethan wiggled the store and was like, um, my company was like, I, um, just wanted to see how you were doing after everything. After everything what? Well, with like the dungeon and um, the kind of falling to your death. Oh, I mean, well, that honestly, that bit was fine. It really didn't. I kind of expected it. Um, I'm not all quick and stuff like y'all are, and I, I knew that I probably wasn't getting it, but I wasn't too worried because, I mean, it it did just the clue, the clue, the hint said, you know. You just kind of go back to the start. Um, I didn't think they were talking about it in like a... Um, um, what's the word? Oh, I, I didn't think they were uh, talking about it in like a reincarnation sense where you like go back to like being a baby or something. But yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I, I pretty much just slept the whole time. Yeah, I, I'm sorry for not... I thought, looking at it, that only one of us needed to get to the top, so my brain was like, okay, I just have to get to the top as fast as I can, and then I'll be fine. I didn't realize that it was something that we all had to do, and once I realized that, I should have left you. Um, I don't, on, honestly, either. I don't think there was anything you could have done. I mean, it was m my fault for stopping, too. I, I could have just gone, but... I hesitated because I was waiting to see if it was, um, what was going to happen because I didn't know what to expect. But you're like, you're fine. You, there was nothing you could have done different. And the important part was that y'all made it up, you know, like that's, that's the most important thing. So you, you don't worry about me. I'm fine. They're kind of like hesitates for a little bit. I was like, I, um, been kind of dancing around this for a while. I don't know. You, uh, you're you're cutting out a bunch. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Is this better? Hopefully. For so for far. now. If not, all it. Uh, um. Ethan's like um. I don't know where Malin is. None of us do. But, um, I'm going to promise you that we will find her wherever she is. Well, I mean, I kinda... This is it's weird. I never actually told anyone this. I think I'm just realizing I never said anything out loud to anyone about this, but I've been, uh, I've been uh, talking to them a little bit. Um, every couple days and I should you know, so not, in hindsight in hindsight I should have I 
I should have maybe said something. Um, yeah, they're alive. They're well as well. Okay, it's kind of complicated because they're. I'm assuming. I don't know if they're on like another plane, but they said that they're kind of in a room and feel like the space is really small because like everything on the outside's kind of big. But I just. I, I have no idea where where that is but and they, they can't figure out anything else either like I've been trying but they don't see nothing they just see like out of their little tiny space okay. if they've been like that for as long as like she's been missing I don't think that her life is in danger, or even if it might be like a small chance. But, you know, I. Um, so, I'm the only person who told do you want me to bring this to Mariana? But if not, I can just keep it secret. Honestly, I just didn't even think that I hadn't told anybody else. It just kind of. I, I guess I just kind of assumed. Um, I don't know why, because it was. It was me doing it. It was all in my head, and I never actually said the words. Um, but you can if you want to tell Mariana. I don't know. Maybe she can, I don't know, see if if they're dead. I don't know. I don't think they are. I don't know. I don't shit about you. Yeah, I mean, I know, it's like, magic, but not, like, that kind of magic. Like, I, I have no idea. Yeah, Mariana's got that dead magic. This is what she looks like floating oh. in the ocean right now. Just, <laughs> just, just is she just floating, floating in the water the like this? <laughs> just, yeah, <laughs> like if you saw her body. from a distance, you would think that's a dead body. <laughs> Every now and then, she bobs over and looks at the at the, the like the sky and is like, nice. Uh, Sorry. You, um, you you can tell the cat. I mean, I can tell the captain too. I, 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 it seems that I I do that where I just don't say things that are probably important. Um, cause not even realizing that I should say them. Um, we could go tell the captain together, I guess. Yeah. Um, we can go tell her. Yeah, I don't I don't know where she is. I mean, she's probably in her in her in her, uh, the off, uh, captain's, captain's quarters. And if she's not, she can't have gotten far. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll go, we'll find her. I don't know, I have this sinking feeling that... <laughs> <laughs> That's the prophetic dreams. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, a crack in again. No, um... I guess... <laughs> Yeah, go look for Mariana. Okay, while well, you guys do that, what has uh, Vernon and Therafina been doing? I think we would have just finished our conversation at this point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and I think before Serafina leaves Vernon's room, um, and, like, he's he's shown her that, like, it's gotten worse the necro the necromancy um and she had grabbed onto his arm and so before she lets go of his arm she's going to try and concentrate really hard um and she's going to try to remove the curse if it's possible oh oh no no <laughs> so either was a curse <laughs> it's Ether. Ether has caused all the drama, not anyone else. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> the delayed reaction. <laughs> you didn't see my face. I was looking at Kristen. We heard, we heard um, <laughs> I can't hear you. Can anyone? I can't. No. I think you gotta switch to something else. The AirPods aren't working. 
That's what I've been trying to do. But what about ether and a curse? Nothing. We, we're fucking Nothing. joking. We're making jokes. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'm changing my headphones as we speak. <laughs> now let's talk shit. Wait, curse? <laughs> curse? Huh? Who? Ether's let's the cursed gonna, child. Let, let's just say we're gonna talk shit about him, but then just talk about how amazing he is. God, He's Ezra's so like, handsome. Honestly, uh, I can Ezra, smooch the that, face. That hair right role now play. is just the, the best. He like, always looks like uh, absolutely stunning, and it's actually a little bit rude. <laughs> yeah, I know. Imagine being that damn gorgeous, like, right? Ugh. Every Seriously. time it pops up with a new wig, I go... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Not, I'm gonna cry about this tonight. <laughs> we just love you. Yes. You're talented. We, and we gorgeous. just love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we're good. Um, so you focus um intently on what is harming Vernon. What you know to be harming him. And you place your hand on it. And you close your eyes and you're focusing. And you release the magic to remove whatever is cursing him. And it doesn't seem to take. Fuck. Okay. You open your eyes and you see that the necrosis is still there. Okay. Um. She'll just look at him not not saying that she tried to do anything, but just be like, just keep faith. We'll, we'll figure out a way to fix this. I'll do my best. And then she'll leave. Okay. And Vernon just watches her leave. Eventually, <laughs> uh, to Lara and Ether. Give me a second, my brain forgot everyone's names. Um, eventually, uh, to Lara and Ether, you uh, see a body floating in the ocean with the waves. Mariana? Yeah. I was gonna say it could only be one or two people, and yeah. And then, you, and then you see Nerissa literally, like, <laughs> jump out of the water like a dolphin. Um... <laughs> <laughs> with like yeah, her flying yeah. fish like around her <laughs> so Mar so Narissa all ether to Laura sees Narissa swimming around a dead body <laughs> basically yeah <laughs> I, I imagine Narissa more like that scene from Spon the Spongebob movie with David Hasselhoff <laughs> on the he's <laughs> doing like fucking tricks <laughs> yeah, she has a sponge oh, and a starfish her. between her titties that she's prepared to launch <laughs> under the sea Okay. Like Ether is just like wide and just like staring, not knowing what the fuck to do. Uh, like trying oh, to like look at if she's dead. Tara's gonna message the captain. Be like, Cap, hey captain, you good down there? Mm -hmm. You oh, okay? Uh, <laughs> she's good. Uh, Ether is in an just, existential state of dread. She's in an exil state of dread. <laughs> an exil state. Of Ariana, <laughs> you can't. You are you just floating there? You're just yelling. Hear you? You're just yelling from the the ship. Down at her. We're gonna translate <laughs> back and forth as Ether's yelling. Or like a good hundred feet out in the waves, just like going. I do this, and I slowly start sinking. <laughs> Ether is fully like jumps to the water. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, make a dexterity okay. check for me. Oh my god, it's like concrete. Because you guys are on the beach right now. <laughs> oh god, Ether falls <laughs> onto the sand, breaks their neck. Oh, I was so scared that was a one. That's still not good. That's a ten. While everyone's screaming, Serafina's like coming out of Vernon's room and it's just like, <laughs> you take 22 points of bludgeoning damage and she's splat onto what? the beach. Ether, okay. Why? What can, why do people forget where we are? And the wave just comes over you and just fills your entire mouth with salt water. Does Nerissa? Lila, remember when we did it? When we were debating whether or not Ether should go on a swim? 
Oh god. Okay, um... Okay. And, like, you get up from what just happened, and you, like, cough up a fish. Like a small little fish. Ether is gonna, like, make sure the fish, like, goes back into the water. <laughs> because I feel like if they don't, Narissa would just kill them. It's, like, right there. I feel like this bodes really well, the fact that the two people who have done this are the captain and the first mate. This bodes really well for the crew. <laughs> Serafina, goes up, Serafina goes up to Talara and she's like, Talara, what's happening? Uh... E e um, <laughs> Ether thought they needed to save the captain who is pretended to be dead in the water even though they gave a she gave us a thumbs up and then Ether <laughs> and she just starts laughing uh, Ether like slightly feeling a little bit better um, just like and then Ether um, just forgot we were on the sand <laughs> And pulled a captain and just jumped uh, off the side of the boat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seraphina looks down. Ether, are you alright, dear? <laughs> yep. You can see there's like blood soaking around like their leg. Um, you you're you're kind of bleeding. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. Ether, you definitely feel like you fractured something in your leg. Okay. Does does Narissa see this for me? When um, she's like doing oh, roll, it, roll a d20 for me. Okay. Can I make like a deception check? <laughs> no. Don't you see me? I'm your girlfriend! <laughs> just in the distance, we just saw a body go down and go, ah! He's just trying to walk it off. Wait, am I uh, adding anything? No, nope, just a d20. That's a five. You are so focused on swimming with your swarm right now, you didn't see any of it. Uh -huh. Oh, thank god. <laughs> oh, like thank god, you're still looking full. Every time her swarm gets too close to Mariana, Mariana, like, tries to pet one of them, but I feel like she's so creepy that she freaks everything out. So she's just dealing with the fact she's too scary for sea creatures to pet them. I, I have a question for the uh, DM. Mm -hmm. um, is this supposed to be our beach episode where we take a vacation <laughs> and this is what we're choosing to do with it? Yeah! <laughs> Breaking our fucking bones. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no. We, so if this is what was, you call a beach you know, episode. Not, you know, it, it's not because we didn't have a bathing suit montage. <laughs> There's still time. I feel like after like <laughs> half of us got traumatized, we deserve this. <laughs> to break your bones? <laughs> we deserve to have a little bit of light moments after. Oh, okay. You know, the zombies and the getting told just, everything just that was mean about us. <laughs> just <thinking>. Anyway. <laughs> oh, no, Serafina, um, Serafina messages Mariana and she's like, um, would you like company or are you okay where you are? If you want to come in, the water's fine. <laughs> Seraphine's gonna cast, um, um, just, uh, the adaptation one. Alter self. Grow gills. And she's gonna jump off the correct side of the boat that's got water on it. There instead isn't. Of the okay, then she's gonna, she's gonna, um, dimension door down into the water then. Okay. Marion, you're kind of just there, and then in front of you, you see Seraphina just appear. <laughs> like the girl from the ring. She starts swimming around. I start swimming to prove that I'm a great swimmer. I start doing, like, yeah, I'm a great swimmer. Like, like that's the vibe she's giving off. Like, Wow. I'm doing tricks. Give, but like, give me a performance cool check. Oh no! She is a good swimmer, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> you, she's like looking back at you as she's swimming and she like heads into like a like one of the rocks that's in the water. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, oh, slowly I, going down. Mariana, are you okay? She messages that to her. Oh, that wasn't very part of your world of me. Oh my god. Uh I mean. 
No, I suppose not. <laughs> she like stares them up and like pats her on the back. <laughs> yes, contact. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. That's just what she's thinking. She's like, ah, yes. <laughs> A friendly pat on the back. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys swim around for a bit. Uh, <laughs> what's Girl's Vernon day. doing during this time? <laughs> he is um still very much in his room. He's can probably hear the chaos going on outside. Yeah, you just heard a scream right like right next to the port window that you have in your room, and you just saw like white hair just go like in front of your window for a split second. We definitely would have like peeked out the window, saw either just and then just shake his head and try to busy himself by just tinkering with things, um trying to keep out of his mind, especially with, you know, the dream sequence he had. Okay. You continue kind of working on your multiple devices that you're currently working on. You get some good progress in. Um, anything else anyone's doing during that day that you guys have just arrived back from th that temple? Um, um go ahead. Uh, I think Mariana goes and uh, basically just writes down the stuff that she remembers remembering uh, in case she forgets it again. Um, and she's kind of been doing this for the over the course of time. She's been like writing down stuff as things have been happening because she's uh, afraid of forgetting literally everything. So she's just like constantly writing shit down. So if she knows that either took a tumble, she'll write that down too. If I fell off the ship today, I knew I picked the right first mate. Yeah, she's just hanging in her room. The little lady's just sitting there. Peekaboo. Literally oh. everyone's face as soon as you mentioned her. You're right, little lady. Peekaboo. Every time she says something, I and no matter where I am in the middle of a sentence, I just write it in like all caps and then continue on. So you you'll always know when the little lady said something because there's always just like a middle of something. And Mariana, make me a perception check. Oh no. I have a pretty decent perception. Um, seventeen. Okay, as you're writing and you're like you're like writing all this stuff down, you just you hear a little plop on the floor. You look over, the lady's just on the floor, just like down, like laying down. Uh, I set down my book and I go. Uh, I pick her up and I hold her like a little baby for a I second. I like watching you sleep. Hey, did you hurt your head? Oh. I can grant you three wishes. Oh, I wish that you were okay. Doesn't say anything. Put her back on the table. I'm gonna. Can I teach you to say things? Are, are you trying to teach her to say things? Can I teach her to say things? You can try. I want to try to teach her to say something. Okay, what do you want her to say? Or tr try to teach her to say? would be so disconcerting. Um. Uh. Have you seen Barky? Just to make it seem like she's learning. Okay. Um. And do I have to, like, say, like, a condition for her to be able to say it? You can if you'd like. <clears throat> I think just a random thing to do it, but, like, the first time that she see someone else on the crew, I want that to be, like, the first thing she says, and then after that, she can just, like, go back to her randomizing. Okay. So what was the phrase? Have you seen Barky? My goal is to slowly give her phrases for everybody, so that they think that she's learning. Okay, you're kind of, like, focusing on that, and you're repeating that phrase to her, and you, then you hear, have you seen Barky? <gasps> oh, I, haven't. Oh. I want a lollipop. 
and blood. Ah, I can do one of those. <laughs> Mariana's always fully conversing with her. And I think Mariana also pulls out, like, I don't know, like, a little, like, stuff that she's collected, like, a little, like, uh, ribbon or something she collected from, like, a shipwreck, and is like, I'm gonna tie this around you. Help what you. a good little gnome. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Anyway, back to my existential dread diary writing. <laughs> at some point, I hate to say it, but at some point, Seraphina's gonna go find Mariana in her room. Hopefully not with the little lady, but okay. Later that later that her. night, you go you go into the op, uh, into the captain's quarters. She'll knock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a knock on your door, Mariana. Come in. She opens the door. Mariana, um, did you have a nice swim? Yes. Good, that's good. Um, we need to talk about something very important at the moment. Have you seen Barky? You just hear from she behind you. Immediately you what? In her hand. Whoa, whoa, don't hurt my child. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You, you look and you see the little lady is just like looking at you, Serafina. I will throw this fireball at you. No. Oh. That was Mariana. very nice. Mariana, this is a creepy doll. <laughs> I love her. Ser I'm so sorry, she's usually nice with me. Pick up, I'm talking about Serafina too, the doll. I pick up the little doll and I go put her over on my like, next to Torp's skull. I'm like, yep. <laughs> and then I come back. I keep produced flame in my hand. I go up and I put my hand in her hand and just slowly push it down. She like produces it around your hand. <laughs> I wish I feel like we're just standing there like that and like, so what did you want to talk about? <sighs> she well, she puts her hand down, like we don't have time for antics. Um I <laughs> As, as creepy doll has she ju just, just now, like still staring at you even though she's been moved as creepy doll has just now asked about Barky I mean I was just in Vernon's room well not just I was in his room before I went swimming with you um and A, a did you know that the necrosis has spread yes he sure does. like almost like into his chest now I think so. Did he show us that much? Or has it spread more? It spread more? Okay. Uh, um, and I was just... I was just whole... Uh, I had his wrist in my hand for a moment. I don't know why I'm going that much of an accent. Um, uh, I had his wrist in my hand, and his heartbeat is very faint now. It wasn't necessarily faint. It was just slower than normal. Slower than normal. Like, how slow? Like, and I take her hand and I put it on my chest, and I'm like, like, this slow? I mean, I don't think we can compare it to you, just because you're undead, twice over. But you feel her heart, and it's very, almost similar? Though but yes, Barky's but was a little bit faster. Slow, really faster, still, still much slower than what it's supposed to be. Especially when looking at Serafina. <laughs> Fuck off. In the distance, Mar Mariana just feels angry suddenly. Um, but we need to... We should probably try and get to a port or something and, and try and figure out what our next steps are because we don't have a lot of time. Once we get the ship moving tomorrow... Head for a port city. I go over to my map and I look for a port city that is uh, near us. Well, yeah, actually, you guys are currently off of the map, so that's true. Where are we on? Where are we off of the map? Do we uh, know how to get past where the trench was? Like way past it. On the left side, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'll just have to keep moving until we see something familiar, I guess. I say as Mariana, we'll 
Uh, we'll just have to keep moving in case there's something familiar. We don't really know where we are right now. We could go the complete opposite direction. Do we know how to get off the beach? Uh, I think Marissa was going to ask for a tidal wave and thank God. Ah, uh, okay. Right. Okay. Alright, then. Um, let's see what we could do. I'm going to check with uh, those we sent to Brian Lyons so we can make sure to meet up with them. Make sure that uh, Barky's uh, uh, hotter parents are okay. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Um, Our... you are. Sorry. How, how are you? Being dead is no fun. How are you doing? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm here, um, you know, um, most of the crew doesn't seem to mind it. I think, hopefully, um, I've mostly mended things with Ether, but I mean, I understand that that takes time and, and anyone else who might hold a grudge, understandably so. So. Uh, he does a big softy, they'll get over it. Yes. But they feel, they feel strongly, just with, with wherever they feel, which is a great thing, so. I'm glad that you're back. I'm sorry that it ended up going that way. I mean, honestly, hopefully this, it went the way that it was supposed to in, in the overall grand scheme of thing. and. And hopefully, we're better off for, you know, having the the piece of the map that I was able to get, and and maybe finding others who can help us along the way, or, or something of that nature. Perhaps. I'm at least glad that I was able to save you all, um, in knowing that the skeleton king thinks you're dead and such. So. I always heard stories of the Vixen. Uh, that was not how I wanted to meet her. Yeah, so her stories precede her. Um, I mean, she's Where? she's she's got her reputation for a reason. Uh, I think I might be a soft spot for her, or I used to be. Mm. But well, the fact that the Vixen was a part of. You know, killing the old captain. Not well, something I wanted to know. I mean, she did say that the dragon's orders were not to kill anyone. It was just to take us off course. And that was the dragon's action, so... I mean, maybe when all this is, is said and done, um, whoever's left, we can figure out a way to, you know, be civil and have peace amongst everyone or something, I don't know. Mm. It would be nice, considering the entire time I've been a captain, the Pirate King has thought that we were dead. And you know what? He's only two, however many of us are the crew, right? <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, we're not dead, so... Two fifteenths. There's a lot of us. A few of us. One tenth. Marianne is literally going like this to try to count her crew. There is seventeen. Ah, two seventeenths. Should I just say suddenly after like a free after a long break? Two seventeenths of us are gone. Oh, speaking of, um when Talar and I were trying to just make sure that no one was secretly working for the Skeleton King. Um, she did bring up that Devil's Smile has something that that makes it impossible for oh. us to, to probe his mind, essentially. Is it like a magical ring that protects their minds? I think so. Um, and we were just, I don't know if Talara's talked to you already or not, but um, we were just wanting to know if, if maybe you would be able to talk to Devil's Smile and ask him if he would voluntarily let us check him, just, you know, to be completely on the safe side. But as captain, that's that's completely your call. I mean, I trust him, but we did... Did you check everybody? 
Yes, when when I was still Granny, Talara and I did. Oh yes, Granny. <gasps> Do you know what would go great with your Granny disguise? I look over at the doll. She produces flame again in her hand. Absolutely not. That wasn't very nice. I'm a pirate. I don't have to be nice. I want a lollipop. And blood. <laughs> How can you like that? <laughs> I will talk to uh, Devil Smile if you and or can you go into people's minds? Is that a thing you can do? Um, turns out yes. No. What am I thinking of? She cast detect thoughts on her. Three, 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 okay. three, oh, yeah. three, three. Um, and Talara does want to let the captain know about the Marin because they never got a chance because she was pretending. <laughs> Everyone drink a line in front of my room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can we do? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm hearing a, a lot of threes. You hear a knock mm. at your door? Ah. <laughs> I don't say ah. <laughs> um, you do hear uh, Seraphine in her mind, she went, that's hot, and then continues on, goes to the door. You open it, you Who's see it? Talara. Oh. Yeah, I just opened Oh, how come, what, what was with all the threes? She was trying to see if I can now uh, go get into her mind. Oh, so you Talking just about say, devil smile. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. See, okay. And so here's the thing. Um, it seems I have this knack of like knowing stuff, but then forgetting that I never told anyone this stuff. Um, like the devil smile thing. Um, maybe I should start writing things down. Um, but um i meant to tell you because ether came and asked me uh, about it earlier but i meant to tell you that i've been talking to Marin. yeah <laughs> see i thought I, I it didn't even click with me that i just never said anything the whole time but they're alive that's that's great well i get honestly i don't know um I mean, I would guess so, but they're I mean, somewhere. do you have the ability to speak with the dead from far away? If not, isn't from what you dead? from what you know, you cannot speak with dead with that no, spell. No, I can't. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> uh, well, I tried um, to speak to her a while ago, but I can only speak with dead, so I didn't talk to her. Well, that's what I, I talked guess... to. I mean. Uh, uh, I didn't speak to uh, Seraphina, do you still have Detect Thoughts up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the name Willow pop into Mariana's head. Yeah, a full image of the girl uh, uh, that I talked to. Tan skin, uh, black braided hair, crying How on a cot. I want to be right now. And then I think my brain like goes, wait a minute, she doesn't know about Astrid. Uh, the other girl, you know. Who... Who's Astrid and Willow? Get out of my head. Stop it. No. Wait a minute. <laughs> Nothing happened. Can I roll a straight face check? <laughs> roll a deception check for me. Can I roll cool. deception too? <laughs> to be like, I'm rolling roll perception twice now, right? <laughs> well, I got a natural one on deception. So yeah, I'm that, that, that fits away. to what you just acted <laughs> as. And then I had the way I was like, and then you roll insight, Lindsay. Okay, for both, like twice or just once? Just once. Okay. I got a and one, you know everything. You see straight through Mariana. That's easy. Um, That's a 19. Hold on, I have a question. It doesn't matter, but it does matter. So technically, because of my actor background, I and I'm constantly always pretending to be someone mm -hmm. else, I should get advantage on the role, mm -hmm. right? Cool, okay. It didn't matter. It's still a 17 plus 9. Damn. Okay. Twenty six. Twenty six. Yeah. Talara just has a like a, a confused look on her face. Is like, like, what are you Who? talking about, Mariana? Mm hmm. She keeps looking over at Talara. Uh, like between you, you two. Do you got Captain? Are you okay? 
Is it the gas again? Oh, there was gas? What? <laughs> <laughs> What's going through Mariana's mind right now? The gas that escaped my body when I died? Is that what she's talking about? Uh... Uh, everything's fine. Don't think about it. Seraphina's not in your head. Seraphina's not in your head anymore. You asked her to leave. She's not there anymore. So she, she, she can't know about, you know, Talara being Astrid and actually, and then we have to go and kill her father and all that stuff. And then her dead sister. And actually, there's a lot of other people. Oh, no. What is she still in my head? Seraphina, are you still in my head? Seraphina's just dead silent. <laughs> in my head, I go, Seraphina. I can <laughs> grant you three wishes. <laughs> I what wish the hell? This was over. <laughs> I'm still debating on whether to burn her up. Talara, what are your thoughts? Ask, oh, Talara, ask her if she's seen anybody. Oh, wait. Uh, what? What? I'm sorry. I just got so confused of what's happening. What? Ask the little lady if she's seen anybody. Oh, the little lady. Um, I'm good. I don't want to know. Have you mm -mm. seen Barky? That... She wants to see Barky. Um, and I liked that I burned her up. I've still got produced flame in my yeah. head. I look over at the little lady and I go, like, thumbs up. Like, yeah, you're doing great. You see her little arm move. I think <gasps> she, like, Talar's got, like, a little fire bolt pre prepped and ready to go. Just like, that thing, one of these days, Captain. One of these days? She's real creepy. I know. I'll go get Devil Smile. <laughs> okay, you get Devil Smile. <laughs> I walk out of the room very quickly. <laughs> so I'm going to to Lara while she's away. So... You're... You're Astrid? Fucking captain. She... She can't... It... It's a long story. That's fair. And I mean, true to piracy, we all have our secrets, so... Yeah, well, um, thank you. But, um, and technically I had detect thoughts going too. Um, and so, um, she's just randomly gonna say after that, she's, um, <clears throat> yeah, and, well, she's not, she's not my sister, that's real weird, um, that, that, that would be really awkward if she was my sister, um, okay. not my sister, I mean, dad's not even dad, well, it's, I just had to clarify, she's not my sister. <laughs> okay, that, that's fair. I mean, if if you would like help killing your father once we're done, or you know, whenever, I'll I'd be happy to help. I guess. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't expect uh, everyone to just be super on board with just killing people. Um, I don't know why I thought that would be strange. I mean, it does usually depend on the people, but I mean, if that's fair, yeah. If if they're innocent bystanders, then we try not to not to just murder random people. But mm -hmm. if want it, then I, I would hope so. Um, but I do uh, appreciate the offer. I don't. I don't know. Um, I don't know if. if the goals of of me being here and and the goal of you know him you know burning in hell is are gonna align so that's her i would say we should save vernon first only because there's a time limit on that or a time a time crunch um, yeah at first i didn't hear save burn vernon i heard burn vernon and i was like wait what <laughs> Oh, we're burning the little lady. finally. <laughs> they coming back into the room with a devil smile. <clears throat> yes. Hello, devil smile. Why am I in a room with three ladies? 
Okay. Seraphina, Seraphina messages Mariana. You, you should start it off. All right. <laughs> uh, keep it down, champ. Um, so no, I'm just confused. When, champ? When uh, I close the door and lock it behind him. <laughs> Am I going to die? Maybe not. Okay, well, I hope so, not. Can't guarantee anything, though. When uh, Serafina came back on board and Tawara, so do you know what happened to our previous crew? I mean, Del said you, they died. Right. So a dragon took the form of our captain and mind controlled half of them. So now we're very nervous about having people be mind controlled. Okay, well, uh, this ring allows me not to be mind controlled, so. Right. That's, would they be able to go into your head for a minute? Would you be able to hand me the ring for a minute and they could just check that you're not like a spy or something? Just for peace of mind. Why? Talked to because Tawara the other day. I don't like people in my mind. I've had people trying to control it before. I don't like it. That was more than just a, like a week ago. That was a couple months ago. Okay, time um, is weird. I'm just saying. I, I'm just just for clarification purposes. Uh, to be fair, we wouldn't be trying to control anything. We just want how, to. Be how do that I know that? Oh, you don't you trust do me, me. I can't trust can you, you. Can you do it? Can Can you do it back to me? I don't know what you can I do. I don't you. have magic. I don't know what you can do. You've seen me fight, like, like a lot. Yeah, but, yeah, but that doesn't mean you can't see, and this is the point, is that people can easily hide things from other people. I haven't been hiding jack shit. Okay, I'm not saying you are, but we you did are implying it by saying you don't uh, trust me. We Well, technically, not, we don't trust anyone then, because we did it for everybody we're else. Not, we're not just kind of implying that, it's just... We have checked. We have checked literally everyone else on the ship, with their with their blessings, just to make sure that we're not going into something that is going to end up all of us or some of us killed. That's. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, you don't have to. I'm asking you to do it as a captain who is worried for her crew. And you are a part of that crew. Make persuasion checks. <gasps> all of us. Yes. Fuck yeah! 18. 25. I got that undead mm. riz. <laughs> That's uh, 27. Jesus, what do you all have for persuasions? God damn. Mine's not incredibly high, I just rolled pretty decently. Mine's fucking two! It's a seven. That's two higher than a two! Mine's nine. Jesus fuck! This once. But please don't try to get in my mind after this. They won't be able Scout to, you'll have the ring. Thank you promise. I can't do it, so yeah, I promise not to. He takes the ring off and just looks at Serafina. Does not look at Talara. Um, Serafina looks at him. What do you know about the Skeleton King? While casting Detect Thoughts on him. That he's a piece of shit. And you hear the same thing ringing in his head. Okay, good enough for me. You can give him the ring back to uh, Mariana. It's still, in, it's still in my hand, right? Oh, I thought he'd give it to her. He just <clears> puts <throat> it back on his middle finger. I appreciate your cooperation. Would you like a snack? You, your snacks? Yeah. What kind? You never have me a snack. Uh, I have a, I have a whole drawer full of just peaches. Oh, I'm allergic to peaches. <laughs> what? Yeah. I also have apricots. I go over and I open a drawer and then I go, Whoa! Okay, I haven't changed them in a while, actually. Um, so I don't have snacks. That's okay. And he just, like, 
has a bag and he just pulls out some like air dried like dehydrated like fruits and starts eating them. Seraphina will take a few. All right, now that we trust everyone here with our lives, it's time. I didn't have anything to have to say there. I thought I did. I, did. I mean, I did that blindly. Um, can I go now? Back to my yeah. poker game. Oh yeah, I hope you. Want Wait, to there's a there. poker game. So, Laura, I don't think they're gonna let you go right now. No. Oh. Okay, it's we can play poker. We can play poker later. Yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah, I have to close the door. Nope. There goes my shot there. Alright, guys, we did good today. Your shot? shot. What? what? <laughs> Detect Thoughts is still on, and now she's got it back on Mariana. God damn it! Um. I don't know. <laughs> It's just a, it's just an image of him with flower petals going around it. <laughs> She's picking a flower and like love. Yeah. <laughs> no, but literally in her head, not. you see like there are four different silhouettes of people with flower images just going around them. She's like, mm. <laughs> not in the cards for me. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, so so we're we're trying to find a port tomorrow. Well, we need to get off the island tomorrow, and then we'll just try to figure out where we are. Honestly, hopefully, Warwick can stare into the sun long enough to figure it out. You hear him just laugh, just outside, like bur ah. barroriously. Did he hear me? Oh no, it's just him existing as, yeah. a, as a person. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, I was like, well, they were playing poker, so everyone's been in my head. So I'm just like, <laughs> maybe I need one of those rings. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to my room now. If you need anything from me, uh, I'm a message or a knock away. And like I said, you're always welcome to use my room for anything you need if you need a bigger space. Or your tattooing uh, and such. I, I, I appreciate that. I mean, um, that offer was made when, when you barely had a room to yourself, but I, I'll, I'll still keep it in mind. I don't really sleep. I just kind of stare up at the sky, and then sometimes I speak to dead people. But okay, what has Narissa been doing? Uh, after uh, Mariana got out of the water, she proceeded to float there like she was dead, <laughs> and has been just like laying in the water like that, surrounded by her seahorses. For, at this like, point, at this point, it's like two a.m. Yeah. She'd probably fall asleep. Okay. <laughs> Does Ether do anything? Just... At any point? Is Ether, like, still there? And does... Do they witness her still the water? I, I, did Ether stay? <laughs> if... If Talara didn't, I don't... <laughs> if Talara didn't, I don't think Ether did but like i feel like after a little bit it's kind of like staying up and it's just like it's been a while and narissa has not come back is she okay and just like, you, and like, you like go out at like literally... like midnight and, and make a perception check for me <laughs> oh god 16 you don't see her dark vision only goes so far babe <laughs> there it's on. You see something float across the water in the moonlight. They learned their lesson. They are going to go down the ladder, <laughs> but like very quickly, probably like gets like ten or so feet above the ground and jumps off. Make a dexterity check. Should that be at disadvantage if they fractured yep. something in their leg? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Take six more points of bludgeoning damage. Oh god. You hear a leg snap. Ah. 
It was already fractured. <laughs> I just I just broke my entire fucking leg. Oh god. Well, everyone's playing poker, you can just hear a scream. <laughs> I'm over the corner. Oh, little lady, we're really in it now. What was that? Oh my god, um... Oh. Dude, now that they're on the ground, do they see the rhythm? You're not blocked by the boat. God damn it! Okay, um... <laughs> this is not Ethan's day. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but like, or, I feel just, that feels disrespectful. Is there like a plank of wood anywhere? Or like, how do you think that's like long enough? For either to like walk with, no, so they're not fully walking. Okay, I'm blazing. Do you have levitate? I have no. I have. I do have levitate. <laughs> you technically already used it today. Oh no, I have another rapier. <laughs> Eva's gonna use not blaze wing. <laughs> and just try to like. Walk okay, you try to walk with it, and it sinks water. into the sand. No. <laughs> Ether bit, just stop. <laughs> Laura kind of like looks over. What you doing? Laying on the beach. Is that a broken bone? No, try to snap it into place. Like a medicine so check what? with disadvantage. <laughs> You've never done this. <laughs> oh God. Five. Take six more points of damage. <laughs> the warwick jumps down. You okay? No! Yep, yep, uh, everything's fine. Um, I don't you think you are. Some, he picks you up and puts you over his shoulder and starts climbing back on board and Wait, throws no. you overboard. I'll go get Nerissa. She's fine. Is she? She's been floating with her fishes. Alive or dead? I'll go oh, get her. Here. She's fine. She's oh. fine. I saw I saw her swimming. She knows how to swim. Swimming. Like, sw sw actually, like, moving swimming. Why aren't you watching your girlfriend and I am? Um, that sketch. That's why I went He down jumps there. back That's down and not. runs off. <laughs> Oh, now I feel like a piece of shit partner. Fuck. <laughs> no, Rissa! No, you just hear this huge splashing in the water. And Marissa just like rolls in the water, so she's on her back and she's like, what, Auric? Oh, Aoife's broken his leg. Oh, shit! He <laughs> fucking uh, tried to come jump down to you. Wait, right wait. on the sand. I think he hit a rock or something, I don't know. Uh, is Warwick swimming? He's like standing there. Uh, she gathers the, the swarm around her to like help push her towards land faster as she's swimming. Oh my mom could just throw you. I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that. Fireball special me, do it! Are you sure? You, health, you might baby. get hurt. Do, do I hear this? Do I hear this? No. Please. They're off in the middle of the <laughs> ocean. Not in the middle no. of it, but you know. Okay, he picks you up. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh my god, we're both gonna die because we're so I mean, look, as a bonus action, I no, can- Just wait, can... just wait. Let me let me describe what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. He Episode. picks you up and he just chucks you. You start going through the air and your flying fish are like swarming you and you literally slide sexy pose right next to Ether or like right underneath where Ether is. Just, like lighting up. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she she looks at them, sees their leg, holds out their hands and casts Cure Wounds twice at second level. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Um, I have to- I always have to double check this. It's with my- yeah, okay. 
Uh, so, 11 points you heal from the first one. And 7 points on the second one. So, 18 you, total. You actually take his, uh, their leg and kind of push it back as you're healing it. So, it heals correctly. Yeah. And then as you do that, you see, you see Warwick's coming up and said, That was so fucking cool! What the you, fuck did you do? I threw a... I... You, I was I just tossed her like a cable. You know what? Fuck you. What? <laughs> Next time we're in the water, I'm leaving you. Fuck you. Wait, what? <laughs> I was looking for you because you hadn't been back in a while, and I was concerned. And I looked over, and I didn't see you, so I was like, oh, I should he see you. He jumped off you know, the ship earlier alive. today, too. So he broke himself yeah, I twice. I Mariana was dead. Mariana's I did, I thought Mariana was dead. Have you seen Can her, Lily? She looks I mean, pretty dead. We... I mean, okay, honey. Can we just, like, have a rule on this ship that, like, you can't pretend that you're dead in the water? How about we just agree that it's a fun joke? <laughs> Rihanna's not, not when two people- Not when, like, several- <laughs> Yeah, I just see the little- the little- Oh, she's back. Yeah. Okay. We do. Several people on the crew have died. Uh-huh. You gotta make light of dark situations, or it's just gonna eat you up on side. Or, or, we can just bury them in our side no. until we forget. Honey, that's not, that's not you healthy. You gotta let them all out. Otherwise, the demons will overtake you. Warwick shouldn't be the- How oh, about I push demon. back my demons? I'm going to bed. <laughs> we he, he holds on to you. We gotta talk what? about this, mate. No! No. No. We gotta talk about your feelings. Do you want to go look at the sun with me tomorrow? It helps a lot. I think I'm good. No, I think it will burn the demons out of you. It will burn my corneas. That's where the demons hide. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's got a point. We need a very lighthearted, chaotic scene before the last three episodes, the last like four episodes, just like kick us in the gut. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Naruto, what did you want to say? Hopefully not about my demons. What, you have a lot no. of them. Hmm? We're gonna talk about this, Ether. Our resident guidance counselor. <laughs> yes. Um, what is Warwick's wisdom? <laughs> not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow he's wise as fuck. We're slowly figuring out the oh, high school my... AU, and he's the guidance counselor. <laughs> it's like guided experience. I... I'm sorry that I worried you, but I you you do realize I lived in the trench before I met you. You lived in a trench. I I didn't know. Was there I war looked... there? Not that kind of trench, hun. <laughs> she, like, pats his, his, um, his, like, whatever is near her, like, his foot. Because she's still laying sexily on the ground. <laughs> she's still laying sexily on the ground. I looked over. You weren't there. I got scared. And went to see if you were okay. This is how you talk about your feelings. Good job. Either terrified. <laughs> Don't be terrified. Nerissa moves so that she's now sitting cross-legged next to them and takes their hands and is just like, I, I am sorry that I worried you. Okay, this feels like a private moment. I'm gonna leave. Okay. Devil <laughs> smile, did you see I just threw Nerissa so far? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give me money uh, for that, mate. I want him to do that while we're in battle. <laughs> I will do it! Oh my god, you would die before you hit whatever you wanted to hit. No, she wouldn't. My fish can make me hover. <laughs> there is like trying. You see right now it's crabs me. making her hover because you're not in water. Like, they've all kind of just, like, picked her up, and she's, like, slightly there, just, like, hovering just above the deck. 
I don't have levitate, but can I cast gust to like do it for like a couple seconds? <laughs> yeah, six seconds, and then you're back on the ground. It's barely noticeable. Okay. I. Well, I'm sorry for overreacting. You didn't overreact. I broke my leg. I kind of did. I would say that's less overreacting and more not thinking something through. But luckily for you, your girlfriend can heal, and also I think I can bring people back from the dead now. What? <laughs> Excuse me? I... I just have this, like... You just see Snappy just moving his eyes with, like, a yes. Yeah, like, I think I think that Soraya has, like, decided that I have, like, proven myself enough, and so, like, you know how, like, clerics can, like, bring people back from the dead if they've only been dead for, like, a minute? I think I can do Vaguely, that now. Vaguely, yeah. I think I can do that now. Oh! Lovely, okay. Um, Should we test that? That's amazing. <laughs> Mariana has popped out of nowhere. Ether's just like full on screen, like, what the fuck? Five seconds ago, Mariana passed work and went, Oh, have you seen? Oh, they're being gay. Thank you. And then just kept going. <laughs> as, soon, as soon as Ether screams, work just yells across the deck, Don't be afraid of your demons, Ether. <laughs> you have demons? You're my fucking demons, apparently. Nice. <laughs> but also, I don't think we should test that, like, just casually. Yeah. Uh, Mariana, you would know more about this than, um, do pirate counselors exist, and how do I avoid Warwick knowing about them? Like a therapist? I don't want Warwick to know, because he is going to throw me at them. Not if and... Warwick is the therapist. That's a great idea. Thank you, Ether. And I no, go over to no, Warwick. No, Warwick no. just throws Ether at himself. <laughs> guys, guys, amazing joke. Are y'all ready? Mm -hmm. yes. He's an LPC, a licensed pirate counselor. <laughs> Warwick, LPC. Dan! <laughs> As your captain, I am legally able to license you with this license. What's a license? It means that you can give advice and people will listen to it. Well, Aoife refused earlier. Does that mean I have to listen now? Mm, yes. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Aether, come here! You should really thank Aether. It was Aether's idea to make you a counselor on this ship. It was not. I explicitly said come that you on, should not Come on, Aether, be. he picks you up. We're gonna go talk about oh, your God. demons. Throws you over his shoulder and, like, marches you across, like, to where the steering ship, steering wheel is. No, demons. absolutely not. He has a strength of, like, 24. No. I have strength of 15. Yeah, no. Nerissa, as uh, Warwick is carrying either ways, just like, be careful with them, please. I would like to still have a fully put together partner when you're done. They may not be together emotionally, but they're no okay, gonna be no broken them. bones. If it helps, I'm probably not already all together emotionally, so. Yeah, Neither that's been I known. <laughs> that's what the counselor is for. It's oh, okay, God. buddy, we're gonna get through this together. Who knew uh, all of those days? Of where did it stop? <laughs> he continues. He tries to gives you gives you like a counseling lesson. Um, <laughs> roll to see if therapy works. Roll for therapy. Does Ether give in at any point? Because Warwick won't let you leave. Because Mariana has just given him a license to make you stay. So well, it all started when I was born. <laughs> Where was At first, going? Ether's gonna like, nod to like any advice for it gives. Yeah, but, like, I'm not like, okay, asking anything of you besides questions, so nodding doesn't give me anything. Shit! Come on, look up, look <laughs> up at the moon. Look therapy, up at the moons that's... right now. They'll give you. They'll give some light to the demons. We gotta wait for morning though to get the real demons out of you. I'm not gonna stare at the sun. Yes, you are. 
I'll give you my my, my, my rum bottle glasses. They help a bit. Oh Though, God. I do... Oh, my eyes kind of hurt a bit because I, I regret not getting the pad in for them. Yeah, this is not about me, this is about you! Okay, uh... I guess after about, like... Like, after a while, Ether's just like, I just wanna get out of here. And, like, answers a I feel like it's like answering a couple of, like, service level questions. And then they kind of, like, I feel like after... Um... I think it's like a half hour. Or something, they kind of give in and they start, like, opening up a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Marissa, Marissa, why does Warwick think that Ether has demons? I don't really know. I just kind of... I got thrown onto shore, did like a sexy little pose, and healed their leg, and then they were talking about Ether hiding from their demons. You got thrown from where? Oh, in the ocean. Warwick, like, tossed me. It was great. I'm proud of you. Right? I told you I would throw people! <laughs> Sorry, no. continue with this. This is great, great progress. <laughs> wow, we should utilize that now. We definitely should, because, like, I'm not gonna lie to you, nothing has felt more powerful in my entire life than being yeeted across the water and sliding across the sand being perfectly okay. Are you still in that pose? She had he, moved, but he she threw you onto the ship. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, nothing had like she had sat back up while she was talking with Ether, but as she's describing it to Mariana, she went back into the pose to like. That is a sexy pose. Wow. Thank you. Oh, well, good job on your landing. Uh. And if work tries to give you therapy, let me know and I'll get you out of it. You're an awesome captain, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that, but does either hear this? <laughs> work just has superhuman hearing, apparently. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll come to take all your money in poker. Fill me in. Narissa goes to the bed chamber. like her and either The bed chamber. Bed chamber? I mean, it's she's a castle. She's waiting in lingerie, but no. Um, <laughs> in that same pose, your the crabs oh, carry you the whole way. <laughs> she's waiting in the she shells. Yeah. She -shells. <laughs> but no. Um, she she's uh gonna go and she's gonna be like, okay, Soraya. Hi, girl. <laughs> um, when we all get up tomorrow to like go about our day, could you have maybe made it so that the ship is, like, back in the water? Because otherwise, I don't know how we're gonna get out of here, and quite frankly, this island is, like, super depressing. Make a persuasion or religion chip for me. Mm. <laughs> Neither of those are great! <laughs> That is a uh, 15. Okay. Good to know. Eventually, you guys all head off to bed. Mariana. <gasps> you awake to the ship moving. It's normal sway. I assume we talked about that you were going to do that, right? No? Oh, never mind. I, I, did I sit up dramatically? Never mind. That didn't happen. I sit up dramatically. I'm like, eh. And I go and I look out my little captain window. You are in the middle of the ocean. Um, uh, I'm going to stretch my legs out a little bit. <laughs> stretch out. And head out onto the deck to see, like, who's... Gotta have someone on deck, is basically what she's thinking, like, making sure. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, Evander, the the Dragonborn, um, a few of the other crew members and such are also out there, kind of just doing that. Kind I couldn't of thing. tell if, if this was a dream sequence or not, so I wanted to make sure. Um, I'm still not sure actually. Uh, yeah, I'll head out and try to see if I can locate where we are. Is work navigating us? He is asleep on just the deck. Ah. He is snoring so loud. Uh, he probably did a lot of good work. Today. What a good little puppy. Work, can you hear me? <laughs> what? Ah. Oh my god, you have superhuman hearing. I'm not human. Sorry. Super hearing. Amazing Super hearing. Super ogre hearing. Super ogre hearing, yes. Um, so we're moving. It seems we are. Um, Did I do that in my sleep? Maybe. Um, my, tell sleep. me, did I do that in my sleep? I'm not hearing anything. Could be the power of your new license. You're right. You gave me superpowers. Dude, you could do that with everyone. We will try. You By the time we reach port, everyone will be licensed to something. Licensed to kill. Sorry. <laughs> I think we all oh. technically already have that license. I mean, I did it without a license, so. Oh, I grant you a license to kill. And it felt more fun when it wasn't licensed. I take it away. Good. Now it's illegal to do it. Yes. You can't do it. Piracy. Anyway, what do you need? Um. Uh, can you tell where we are? I look at the moon. Good. You, look, you'll learn. Let me let me teach you about looking at the stars. We're in the middle of the ocean. I look up. Can I see anything <laughs> in the distance? No. Which way we came from? No. no. Uh, and there's there's no sun, so I can't determine west. <laughs> Uh, I can't determine where we are. Uh, I'm gonna try to determine where we are with the stars to see if I've learned anything from what. Make a nature check. Oh shit! I think my nature's horrible. <laughs> Lila, you're in a silly, goofy little. Yeah, I know. Today. I don't know what's <laughs> up. Uh, I love <laughs> it. I love Warwick. He's the only person I want to survive. Like, if I'm... if only one of us survives, Warwick has to be the surviving person. <laughs> yes. Actually, I'm living dude... for the Warwick content. I love him. He is my favorite. I actually got a 19 on my nature. Um, you begin looking at the stars, and it seems like you've actually absorbed a lot of what Warwick has been telling you about navigating. And it seems that you guys are going east. Yeah, going east. Okay, we should be good then. Um, oh, I'm very sleepy. Get some sleep, work. I'll see her for a while. I was honestly just talking to you to see if you could hear me in your sleep. Uh, maybe go to your room? You snore kind of loud. Okay. Uh, I, I go and I, uh, stand up and I, uh, stand at the ship steering, which I don't think Mariana would have done since she was, like, first a part of the crew. So she's just, like, having a bunch of, like, memory flashbacks looking up, like, oh, there's the constellation for the Man of Spiders, that's nice. And, like, just... <laughs> oh, there's a constellation of those people who killed that one big green dragon. Nice. As you're there's looking the at the constellations, you feel yourself begin to doze off. Oh no. And that's where we're gonna take a break. <laughs> and welcome back. We pick up as Mariana has just fallen asleep at the wheel of the ship. Probably, yeah, still holding on, and you're, like, slumped over it now. Um, as you guys all begin to drift off to sleep, whether deeper into sleep than you were before, you all open your eyes, and you're all swimming. As you're swimming, it's almost reminiscent of a space near Aztiri. Deep ocean blue with the light cascading through the waves, large kelp swarms around you, 
as you can see the flooded city in the distance. Do you guys do anything? Would we be able to tell this is an illusion having been here before, or we think this is all real again? Do you think it's all real? Okay, do we feel like we, like, teleported? Or is it just, like, this is kind of, like... No, all you remember is just beginning to swim. It's like a dream where you're just doing something and you're like, this makes sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're getting our beach day. I'm gonna swim toward the city. Okay. Yeah, Farafina's just Mm -hmm. swimming. As you all begin to swim towards the city of Aztiri, an older, flooded, elven city, Mariana and Vernon, you both see a spark in the distance, and then you all see a large explosion as to where you guys would know the temple would be. Oh, Ether's just kind of going as fast as they fucking can. Uh, can uh, As you continue to swim towards it, it feels like it's getting further away. You feel the current pushing you backwards. You try to fight against it, but it's too strong. And as you do, Serafina, you feel your body slam into the kelp swarm behind you. But something is odd. It feels almost solid and not waving like kelp would normally do. You look back to see if it's a rock you've just hit. And as you do, you see a mass of bodies tangled in the kelp. Bodies with faces you recognize. Your dads. Your siblings. Black mane. And a face you haven't seen in anything other than a reflection of water. A simple human girl. With tanned olive skin. And flowing black hair. She looks no she looks to be no more than 15. You each slam into similar walls filled with people from your pasts before you were all swallowed by the kelp swarms. All except Narissa. Narissa, you try to swim against the current, trying to push through it. Trying to survive whatever is happening. You watch as your friends all begin to disappear into the kelp until you are left alone, fighting the current. Or at least you think you are alone until you feel the presence of a, a presence surround you. Something familiar, something, someone who has saved you before. Marissa, I am with you. I will guide you, but you have to fight against it. To save yourself. To save your friends. You have to push against the current. Prove it to yourself that you can and that you are enough to push past it. What do you do? Swim as hard as I fucking can. (laughs) Okay. I would like you to make an athletics check for me. Okay. Let me, let me, let me pull that. Okay. 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 God, I'm rolling like shit tonight. That's a 10 total. You begin to try swimming against the current, and it's too strong, and you feel yourself push back. You tumble over yourself. Prove it to yourself, Larissa. Prove you are stronger than it. <laughs> uh, Narissa just like screams in frustration, thinks about uh, the vision that she had while she was in the dream world, and reminds herself that that is not true, and pushes herself again to like just go as hard as she can. Okay, athletic check with advantage. I rolled a four and a two. So that's eight. Narissa can't do it, (laughs) y'all. Narissa's a weak bitch. As you continue to try to push yourself against this current... The memories, the words of your sister ring in your head. 
and you make yourself doubt what you can do. And you feel yourself beginning to be pulled underneath with by the kelp. Prove yourself, Marissa. <clears throat> Fuck. Okay. Okay. Um, like the kelp is beginning to wrap around your legs and your arms beginning to pull you under. Okay. Um... Narissa is going to, um, she's going to cast Thunderclap directly beneath her and try to use the, like, burst of sound to push herself upward in a way. Okay. You manage to be able to get your hands a little free to be able to cast the spell, and you see as the kelp almost reacts, recoils. From it, and you push yourself up out of their grasp. What do you do after that? The current mm -hmm. is still trying to push against you. Mm-hmm. 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 Breaking the fuck out, man. Um. 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 <laughs> um. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know. I'm literally. I, ah. You feel the current begin to take you, pushing you further and further back away from the vision of the city. You feel battered. Your body is sore. And you are left alone in the deep ocean. Without anyone around you. Without your swarm. You are solemnly alone. And you hear a familiar yet different voice peek through. The voice of your mother. Marissa, dear. Pull yourself up. And prove yourself. You are such a strong little girl. Okay. Um, she immediately bursts into tears. <laughs> and, uh, uh, just thinking that she refuses to let her mother down is swimming as hard as she can. Okay. Athletics check with advantage. Hey. <clears throat> Fucking finally. It's a 22. <laughs> Those words ring out in your mind over all of the other negative ones. Your inner thoughts, your sisters. And you're able to push through. You feel yourself fighting against the current, fighting for your life. A familiar sense that you once beheld after your ship was toppled and sank. And you feel yourself, that momentum continuing forth, bursting you forward and through before you awake in your chambers and you're gripping onto your bow and it's something different it feels more what do you do? uh She's gonna look at it from every single angle and be like, did I not notice something that Vernon fucking did when he was messing with this? <laughs> I would like you to make an arcana check. Oh, I'm not good at those. Okay. Okay. 
That's a five. Something strange, but it doesn't feel like man-made. It more so feels more magical. You see the string on the bow is almost glistening, like water. She's gonna head up on deck and uh, go to like the bow of the ship and shoot out into the ocean. Okay, go ahead and make an attack roll. Whoops. 14. Which would technically now be a 16. Okay! You shoot it out, and you see as the arrow goes into the air, and you see water explode. I will send you the details of your new relic of divinity. <laughs> should be in your character journal now. You now have the salt water recurve. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Okay, so quick question. Uh-huh. So it <laughs> Mm, Vernon gave me a plus one before, so is it technically now a plus four? <laughs> no. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> That's still incredible. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone else, you are still within your dream, and you are being taken down to the depths of the ocean where it begins to get hot. There are geysers bubbling upwards around you. What do you do? Keep in mind you are all alone. You do not know the others are there. Does this feel like similar to when Talaris had like dreams before? Or does it feel very real? It feels very real. Yeah. But it, does it feel like similar? It, it, you have deja vu of being, like, in a dream mm. where you were ripped down in the water. Yeah, because... Because if it felt like a dream to her, she just let it happen to see what would happen on the other side. Um... This feels like real life. Like, this is yeah. something that's happening well, then, to you. Yeah, Talara would cast Alter Self then if she feels like she's being pulled down so she could breathe underwater. Okay. What does Ether do? Ether is going to try to, um, is going to take out, I'm assuming, like, Lay I think, like, Lay's wing. Yeah. And is going to try to cut at the kelp at their ankles. Okay. And then attempt to, like, make an attack roll for me. Freed. That one. You lose Blazewing if it tumbles down. Ah! <laughs> oh god, Ethers are panicking. Oh my god. Okay, you start panicking. And you're taking on water. You are now considered drowning. I stop breathing. I don't need. I don't need to breathe. There are water in your. There's water in your lungs. Fuck! 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 We'll fuck, get back fuck, to you. Fuck. What is Mariana doing? I. Uh cutting at the kelp and trying to use like her like the mariner's armor her bonus actions like everything to swim up okay I'll go ahead and make an attack roll oh, sorry i literally caught it because I, as it was going down because i was so scared about to fly off into space okay okay like right here <laughs> yeah like i was thinking of blaze wing um scoop it up I have a plus 11. Uh, 21. You cut through and you're beginning to push upwards. I use my whole action. I'm trying to like also look around to see if I can see anything, but also, but 
if I don't see the others around me or anything or have no indication of them. The only other them, thing that you see are the bodies of the people that were in the kelp swarm. Okay. And I don't recognize... Well, you I'll recognize like, Torp and Del and Froggy and the rest of the crew that has died. Mm -hmm. Um, you, rec you recognize Aiden and a few other people you don't recognize. Are they... But they're all, like, super, super dead? Yeah, they all look dead. Shit. Okay, um... She'll, she's in that moment where she's like, I'm gonna shut down, deal with my emotions later, and just try to swim to the top, or, like, try to get out of here. Okay. What is, uh, Serafina doing? Uh, honestly, seeing the bodies and everything, she probably, like, freezes. Um, and then she'll, she'll pull out, um, the flame tongue and, and, and try and cut through. Okay, make an attack roll. What is Vernon doing in this instance? He probably sees the bodies and he just freezes, honestly. Especially if he still remembers the dream sequence that he had beforehand uh, during on the island. Then he's going to try to... Okay, I will also say that both you and Serafina are also considered drowning because you guys froze. So everything you do is with disadvantage. For the moment. So he... He definitely feels the water coming into his lungs, and he starts panicking a little bit, but he uses Eldritch Blast to try to get away from the... Okay, I'll make an attack roll. What did Ser Serafina get? Um, 25. You free yourself, but you can, you're can you like trying to cough up the salt water that's in your lungs. Um, you take four points of damage. I forgot about the bodies. <laughs> what is um, so Tawara would have started trying to swim to Willow. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. What did Vernon get on the tackle? 17. You can't free yourself. No. How so? You all experience this dream. The people you have loved in your time all dead around you. No one else here with you. Were you all eventually awake on the deck of the ship? Mariana, you awake and you're steering the ship. And it's like bright, bright sunny day out. Oh god, I hated that. Uh, I look around uh, over the sea for anywhere, see if I can find any landmarks. Make a perception check for me. A natural 20. Uh, you do see a landmark. Seven, it looks uh, it looks to be like some sort of island and coming up kind of like in front of you. Um, uh, do I see anything around the island that would identify it? it it's like, too far off. Like you see like like the outline of the island. You don't see actually what's there on it. Well, I, I'm going to uh, steer us just so we're headed toward it, but I'm keeping an eye just to make sure that there's no... Um, let's say spears with a bunch of dead bodies hanging out of it, or like a mammoth skull, you know. Okay. Stuff like that. Okay. What is everyone else doing as you awake? Norris has just been up for like five hours at this point. She And she's been like sitting at the bow of the ship just staring at her bow like, holy shit. You I... stood there while I was falling asleep steering us. <laughs> just like <laughs> asleep while steering us. You're just like <laughs> well, I would also say Narissa did see that, like, the water was guiding you guys. Yeah. Um, Serafina's gonna wake up in her own room, um, and just, like, s like, just take in everything that's just happened, trying to, like, rationalize to herself that it is just a dream, but, like, she hasn't, like, even though the serpent, um, had, like, talked about all of her fears and stuff and and everything that happened like she hasn't seen her the images of her family and and everything in quite a long time so that's definitely like stirred her so she's just like chilling in her room right now i feel like ether like wakes up and is kind of just like so like like gasping for air for a second, even though like they don't need to breathe, they're like I almost drowned. And you do actually like, cough up some water. 
Oh god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! I feel like Ether is just like, just like in a coughing fit, and then just like once they're able to like calm down, like still has like a little like a hand on the throat. Looks sees that Nerissa is not in their room, and it's just booking it, going to find her. Okay. Because like now they're just like she is definitely over the ship at this point. You find her, she's, like, sitting crisscross applesauce on the bow of the ship, just staring at her bow with, like, this massive grin on her face. Ether fully just tackles her. <laughs> <laughs> she, and it's just, she, like, crying. <laughs> oh my, oh my god, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong? I, 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 I drowned, everyone was dead, I don't know, what the fuck was that? I coughed up water, I don't need to breathe, why did I cough up And it's just like rambling as they're like crying. She turns to them and just like holds them. <laughs> She's just like, okay. We just cry into her shoulder. Let your demons out! <laughs> <laughs> At this point, they're like, okay, that was because I did not listen to Warwick. <laughs> I will now attend my therapy session with Warwick. <laughs> <laughs> like, if they would not be surprised if this was like an elaborate plan by a war to get them to go to therapy. Those were your demons. Wait, no. Um. Also, uh, do they still have blaze wings? Does either have blaze wings? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have your weapon. Ha <laughs> ha. Do they get gone? Oh God. Narissa just fully is yep. like. I am in comfort mode. We'll hold, we'll play with hair, we'll smooch top oh, of no. head. Talara. Yeah, that's what he just said. All he just said. As you awake, you feel empty. Someone you love, you had in their grasp, your grasp, even though she was gone, is no longer there. I mean, she was already pretty empty <laughs> um, and just numb, but um, I think the hope, like the, that slight hope that she had, because it felt so real, just, um, she just like breaks down and cries. If she's still in her room. Yeah. Okay. Where you guys fell asleep is where you guys woke. Yeah. <clears throat> Anything from Vernon? He definitely wakes up. Like, I guess he will also cough up water? You don't. It was Warwick. Warwick poured water no. in your mouth. <laughs> he was also asleep. What? <laughs> uh, so, he... It's very much just, again, distraught from his dream. And he just rushes from his room. He doesn't want to be in there at the moment, so he goes on deck, kind of winces at the light as he just, like, realizes it's daytime and then just tries to go over to the side so he can, like, have some fresh air. Okay. Anyone who is on deck, I'd like you to make a reception check for me. Fourteen. My dice literally landed on fourteen when you said fourteen. Also I got a ten. 14. No, I don't add anything, so I did get a fourteen on the dice. Mine is. I rolled an eight plus six. Fourteen. Fourteen. Mine's fifteen with a plus one. With ten. A plus one. Okay. I will message somebody. Continue role playing. Excuse me. Continue role playing. <laughs> um, dear God, Why I'm so crying. I role play crying. <laughs> I feel like we're all just crying in like our own respects, except for Narissa, who got a hype ass bow. We all just got traumatized. I mean, she's just like, what is happening? She she's worried about her bow. Yeah, Vernon's literally just like. <laughs> Wait, didn't they? Did Vernon just? 
Did her see Ethan and Marissa at all? Because he walked onto the deck. Probably. Like, I don't think he would have cared or, like, done anything. But, like... He probably, like, glanced at y'all and then kept going to the, like, side of the ship and just kind of is holding like, it. This is a private moment. Let me... <laughs> let me cry on my own. <laughs> no, he's not crying or anything. He is just... He looks like shit, and that's not normal for Vernon at all. Really? Um, no, I'm sorry. sorry. Me. What? <laughs> he hates <laughs> looking <laughs> like shit. He always looks put together. Bro, and bro, you're covered in necrosis. You always look like shit. <laughs> you are dying. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're literally decaying. <laughs> um, um, I will. I will. Oh, go ahead, Narissa. Oh, uh, just. Um, Nurse is gonna look at Ether and be like, "Honey, are you okay for a minute?" Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. Come, come get me if you need me. I'm just gonna. I just need to talk to Vernon for a second. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 She kisses the okay. top of her head. <laughs> just come get me, okay? Go, go talk to Vernon. Okay. She goes up to Vernon. Okay. He, um, like, takes a second and then, like, looks at you. You... You... I what, Nersa? How are you feeling? Like shit. You... You look like shit. Well, I just woke up from a nightmare. I'm not surprised. No, like, um... And she reaches out and, like, really gently touches the side of his face where the necrosis has been. Yeah, the necrosis has spread kind of, like, up the side of your face. Ah! He just kind of, like, stares at you, like, why are you touching my face? And... A romantic way. <laughs> she, she does that and she's like, either you intent- see this and you're like, what the fuck? She's very intently staring at the spot too. Like, she's not looking like at his like face face. She's like looking at the side of his face that looks fucking wrong. She's just and like, he- does this, does this hurt? What are you talking about, Marissa? You have... You're like... It's you're red. like rotting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh <God>. okay. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, that's a 12. Silence is deafening. Um. It's definitely not golden. Um. Okay, when when you say you feel like shit, do you just feel like emotional shit, or do you feel like physical shit? This is very important. (laughs) He has to think about this. (laughs) He... You can see the perplexion on his face as he's thinking about this, and he's just like... Emotional? You have, like... God, this is so stressful. (laughs) (laughs) The plastic joy from Lila. (laughs) (laughs) Helen's face emotion as the, as these messages roll out is so funny. I'm stressing oh. Helen out today. I'm Apparently, stressed. I don't even know what's going on. Yeah, no one knows what's going on. It's okay. It's between me and Helen. Um, um, is he turning um, into a dragon? Um, um, um rotting dragon. Um. <laughs> 
Thank you. <laughs> Could you bring up water as like a reflection kind of a thing? A mirror? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> you can also ask Ether for their gun. Because it's, I'm assuming Shoot him, bitch. Shoot him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but no, it's like hey, the gun is probably right has like a, ref like a reflective surface, like giving someone like a toaster. Um, while Nerissa's staring at him very intently, she's going to use her primeval awareness. Are you. <laughs> Burn is just a very. Uncomfortable as she's still holding his cheek. You oh, see yeah, really Narissa one kind of one thing only. just like closes her eyes and like focuses out for a moment. You no longer hear the waves around you. You no longer feel the warm breeze. But you do get a ping mm -hmm. from the person standing right in front of you mm -hmm. of an undead ping. And that's where we're gonna end tonight's episode. <laughs> well, at least we don't have to worry Three. about his time limit because he's already dead. <laughs> Three of 17 now. Oh my god. Keep in mind, the only two people on deck who give you an undead ping is Vernon and Mariana. Mm -hmm. Nobody else. So no other pings. No Pinsies. other pings. Okay. Pinsies. <laughs> Good news no, about a job. No, like. Wait, it's technically, burning. wait, how far does your primeval awareness go? Oh, like really fucking far. Hang on. Like five <laughs> miles or something. Uh no, hang on, I clicked the wrong thing. This one. Uh within one mile of you or up to six miles if I'm on my favorite terrain. Okay, never mind. You're good. I don't like that, Lila. Anyway, Jeez. thank you all for tuning into this episode of The Important Cast. Um, uh, thank you all for tuning in, and may the dice guide you two beautiful friendships. You done ran out of time. Huh?